They are armed would be poachers, stealthily searching for their prey in this part of the thick forested Mount Kenya National Park in Nanyuki. Immediately, they come under fire, heavy gunfire from the bushes. Despite trying to fight back, they are overwhelmed by Kenyan rangers. This may not be real, but it's as real as it gets for these Kenyan rangers who put their lives on the line every day to protect wildlife, especially elephants and rhinos which have now been endangered by rampant poaching. And to improve on their skills, the officers have in the last few days been undergoing specialized training with the British Army paratroopers. So now obviously you're facing the front. The 50 rangers from the Kenya Wildlife and Forestry Service were trained on day and night snap ambush, first aid and patrolling in the first of such an exercise sponsored by the British government. We made sure that the training we delivered was relevant to them um, and then we've taught them low-level military skills which they already knew. Um, we've just applied a little bit of experience and knowledge. Still, the rangers face numerous challenges, such as limited resources and manpower against what is perceived to be increasingly militarized poachers. The rangers like David Wanyueke attest to this. When you encounter such a, a thing, manpower, maybe you, get there, you find uh, the enemy strength, it's higher than yours. The training may not offer a permanent solution to the poaching menace for KWS and forest rangers whose statistics show arrest at least five poachers or illegal loggers with more getting away. But it's certainly a good start. It has made me even uh, get the tactics of ambush and even the medical tactics that we are going to apply in the station. Well, this training is part of a growing effort by Kenyan authorities to curb poaching. Officials are also pushing for tougher laws and tougher penalties for those who break them. The wildlife bill before Kenya's parliament proposes, among others, increasing the penalty for poaching from the maximum three years to life sentences. Experts are already warning that Africa may lose one-fifth of its elephants if poaching is not stopped. Kenya's 30,000 elephant population is currently under threat, with up to 2,000 elephants falling prey to poachers annually. The matter of addressing poaching is not only a matter of, about how many uh, forces you have on the ground is a matter do you have the right information about who is doing what within those ecosystems. For now though the Kenyan rangers are determined to succeed despite the limited resources at their disposal as they face the enemy poachers. Jane Kale, CCTV, Nanyuki, Kenya.